Welcome to another course on the Virtual Linguistics Campus on Theoretical Syntax, VLC 107, Syntax, Part 2. This repository and course presupposes that you understand the principles of phrase structure, that you are familiar with the representation of words in the lexicon, including the addition of thematic roles. If you aren't, we recommend studying the content of VLC 106 Syntax Part 1 first, where these and other aspects of theoretical syntax are explained in detail. If you have an account on the OER VLC website, which is of course free, accessing the repository is simple. Just log in with your personal data and you will find the repository on your personalized dashboard or in your course overview. A click on the bottom of the VLC 107 tile leads you to the repository start site where you have access to all modules starting with a preliminary section with advice and help on how to use the VLC 107 repository. And here are the current content topics of VLC 107. As you can see, we have two topics that look at syntactic categories, syntactic functions, and provide a general overview of the term grammar. Basically a summary that you should have encountered before. Then we discuss simple phrase structure grammars and their limitations. By the way, the system we are using to represent phrase structure throughout VLC 107 is X-bar syntax. If you want an overview of X-bar syntax, look at the respective topic in VLC 106. Having understood the limitations of simple phrase structure grammars, we will embark on variants and additions such as transformations, lexical functions or generalized phrase structure. Additionally, VLC 107 provides an overview of computational syntax and introduces the variants and principles of parsing. This list of topics is being updated and quality assured on a regular basis. And our teaching and learning concept? Well, studying online on the Virtual Linguistics Campus simply means go through each unit at your own pace, select a topic and tick off the activities you have worked through, and make use of as many VLC options as possible. And if you don't know what to do first, use the how to proceed options at the beginning of each topic. And as most of you know, each topic should be finished with a mastery test, where you can earn your personal VLC badges. Maybe you prefer using your mobile device. If so, feel free to download the Moodle app, log in and study where and whenever you want. Well, that's it. As usual, the rest is up to you. Thanks for your attention and see you on the Virtual Linguistics.